Oh, that's the full burst. Okay. Yeah. It's it's technically really low to the ground, but <laughs> it's, it I came off of a it. sliding yeah. jump, so it was technically a full burst in the air. Huh. Sabote, this is Jeff. This is David. Hi, David. Hi, Jeff. Let's play Monster Hunter. Yeah. The mouse kind of snuck in the side there. We're going to befriend... All of the rest of the Grimmelkinds. We're gonna finish the uh, the Grimmelkind quests. Okay. Uh, I forgot the. Uh, I did not quite catch the recording of the first half of this, but we went and we we uh, killed some Tsitsiyakus <laughs> for the troopers. So here's our cat talking to the troopers. Right. Which is a great name. Uh, it's me outstanding. Uh, the, these guys are in a okay. little, little hidden area in the uh, uh, Coral Highlands, but we right. get the Coral Orchestra. Look at that. They're so happy. Uh, the Coral Orchestra is great. It's buffs. It just, it, you, you get buffs. Is that, there's that magic girl. Mantra girl. Mantra, mantra, no, so, you can catch that? Mantra. You can. It's the big Fantastic. one. Uh, you, you can catch it in your net. I didn't there's know the, that. Here's the Linean or the Linean researcher. He is the one we're going to be completing the quests for. Yep. Uh, our ultimate goal as the uh, episode title might indicate... Uh, is is if not befriending at least coming to a tentative cultural understanding of the gajalakas those little jerks those little jerk kitties as it turns out little jerk kitties uh but before we do that we have to uh befriend the rest of the tribes of grimmel kinds mm -hmm. which means we have to do their quests which means that we have to also get all of the other um palico gadgets since mm. doing that is how we get the palico gadgets and each of the major maps has their own specific um sort of grimmel kind quest right. to do right uh, um, this this is unrelated the, I, the inimic life researcher was there so i was like well i'll, I'll chat <laughs> did you just shoot a fire at the scavangelist i, oh, I did not have ants. it equipped as i thought but it's fine yep we're going to do some fishing, too, because this is, you know, this episode, we're just relaxing. Right. We're befriending people. We're capturing some, looks like maybe two large uh, creatures. We're going to get some fish. It's mm. going to be great. This is the best and saddest of the quests. Yeah. The scavenger kitties. So these, uh, these, uh, yes, these kitties are uh, starving. Uh, and if you run up to them, they run away. Mm-hmm. Uh, as as your as your uh, cat companion is pointing out, mm. uh, what that actually means is that you need to feed them, uh, and you can feed them with uh, raw meat. So you just have to bring some with you because raw meat, when you use it as an item, you place it on the ground. Right. Normally, this is how you would trap monsters if you like poisoned it or something. But we don't want to poison these kitties. We do not want to poison the kitties. Cannot uh, stress not that enough. Monsters. We are not monsters at the moment. Yet. It noticed the food. They are. They are. They are singing. It's calling. Calling its, its friends. friends. Yep. So they are so happy with the one piece of meat that it is cause for celebration, which is super sad. <laughs> Look how happy they are. Yay, they got some meat. Let's 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 have a meeting of the minds. Yep. Go kitty, translate for us. <laughs> I haven't seen monsters like you before. Stay back. <laughs> Meowsters, great. I like how Explain you're... your strange and hideous appearance. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm I'm just a person. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'll take your word for it. I, I like how your cat says meowsters, but the plunderers is like monster. No, they're just monsters. We don't have to pun. We Yeah, we don't do that here. We are survivalists. You, we can't pun. We don't have time for that nonsense. If you could please just stop that. Uh, they gave us the plunder blade. Uh, pretty good. Let's, let's do let's. Let's do a little kitty dance party. They're so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Plunder blade is great. Yes, uh, it steals from monsters. 
Also, if you just have it equipped, your uh, your cat will just kind of naturally pick up extra stuff mm-hmm. that falls off the monsters. Fantastic. You can tell them specifically to throw a plunder blade out. When it hits, you'll get a item that is a monster part specific to the monster. And actually, that's what I use to get a lot of the behemoth stuff. Because if you're doing behemoth and you don't want to fight behemoth a billion times and you only need a few pieces, just go in, throw a plunder blade at it, and then just leave. And you'll be golden. <laughs> just- it's still random, but you know... It's, At least it, it's a it guaranteed works drop. Enough. Yeah, it's a guaranteed drop. It's a little random which ones you get, but you can get the things you need for the most part. So, mm-hmm. And we could start the actual Gajalaka quest now that we've finished the rest of them for the Linian researcher here. Buy my riddled hips. It's going to be <laughs> fun. Uh, the first part is a bit of just kind of annoying fetch quest. You just have to get the doodles. The doodles are where the Gajalakas appear in all of the other maps. Mm-hmm. So you can notice there are gotchalakas in the background uh this is what you use guides for <laughs> yes it is <laughs> look at that big old fish <laughs> oh it's a gastronome, gastronome. Tuna that drops an item for you when you catch mm-hmm. it i forget what the item is it's not great it, it's, it's a still, random it's just thing. kind of fun it's just it's random depending on where you're at it's just it's an indication that he ate something from the area mm-hmm. should be just about it you only need 10 uh, I actually don't remember if you can get the same one again. I don't think you can. I don't think so, but... I, th- eh. I think that you do have to go to each unique location, but it shouldn't be a random chance that it's there. Right. Like, it should just be go to the Gajalaka places. And, and there's, the there's always... Yeah, the doodles are always there. Uh, the last part of the quest is a little annoying because it says you have to be there at night, and you can't really change the time of day. Right. Uh, other than just kind of like cycling through quests. Uh, fortunately, when I came here, it was like evening, nighttime, dusk, whatever. So right. I didn't have to like cycle through up some quests to change the time of day. That's all kind of weird. You can uh, just do what I part... did and just sit in the area for half an hour. <laughs> uh, I guess that'll work too. Yeah. So we have to infiltrate their inner sanctum, but they're uh, they're on patrol. So, it's uh, a so we have to melt your salt. It's a sneaking mission. Uh, but we look. If you want to do a sneaking mission, you're wrong. Just don't. Yeah. Like the the ghillie mantle makes you invisible. They gave you active camo from the beginning. Literally, just literally you just run through. It yeah. does not matter with the ghillie mantle. This yeah. is this is great because I am not interested in playing a forced stealth segment in a Monster Hunter game. I'm not interested in a forced yeah. stealth segment in any game. Especially yeah. not in a Monster Hunter game. Or CrossCode, for example. Not that it's in there. It's a, ran- a random example that could mean anything. Yeah. But as soon as we get in here, this is the uh, this is the secret Gajalaka King hideout. Which is one of my favorite little side rooms. Like I just it's, love this it's room. It's got some it's got some good design. We'll take a we'll take yeah. a gander around the, the, the duds of the place here. Yeah. And the the Gajalakas say everything is Laka Gajalak instead of like Nyan's. It also has a more formal way of speaking. <laughs> uh, I also appreciate that the Linian researcher is trying to uh, to speak the Gajalaka language, as he said he would. Mm-hmm. Foremost, a dancer needs strength. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've got a Mialatov cocktail. Which is pretty great. It's a It's bomb. a firebomb. The <laughs> and if you put down a bomb when your kitty has the Mielotov cocktail, he will also put down bombs. It's great. Let's take a gander around the inner sanctum here. Mm-hmm. Uh, the little wiggler is adorable. Mm-hmm. They, got a they know what's up. Yeah, they know they're cute. And you stole I'm two steal of them. them. I'm going to steal them. Fantastic. I'll put them in different pots. <laughs> <laughs> so for the um, for completing this quest, we also have access to the Gajalaka shortcuts in the Elder's Recess, mm-hmm. which is not really that useful, but it's a thing you can do where you can go through these little, uh, the numbered portals and they take you all around the map. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, the, gosh, let's do some diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, not all the Gajalakas are friendly to you. Right. Uh, it's just that if you go in here, you can recruit them. It's like this yeah. one is a raider and they have like slightly different weapon types. Uh, what right. we're going to do is actually do some missions with the Gajalakas uh, at our sides here. So we got a raider in the corner there because we want to raise their unity because when we raise the unity of any of the troops, 
uh, they level up, they get more abilities. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the Gajalakas, in particular, the one I want to point out is the Gajalaka Shell Shock. Oh, there, that thing. <laughs> okay. You've zoomed in so on it, so it must this, be important. This adds, so randomly in the map, where there are um, troop sort of like benefit locations, like here, mm-hmm. it can randomly spawn one of the the tribes that you've befriended. Sometimes right. they'll be like, they'll say like, oh, we'll capture the monster if you bring it over here. So the Gajalaka is one of the random things that can spawn there, and you can see on your map if they've been, you know, randomly chosen to be in that spot. So there's a little bit of fiddling trying to get these things to come together. But if you have the Gajalakas, you finish their quest, and you bring them over to one of these positions, uh, you get the Shell Shock ability, which is um, this ridiculous <laughs> thing right here. <laughs> they start carpet bombing. <laughs> <laughs> they, they trip. They instantly trip and lock down the monster, and then they just pop out of the ground and start shooting it with missile launchers. <laughs> it is great and beautiful, and I love the Godzillas now. So it's okay if they occasionally throw bombs at me and paralyze me at inappropriate times. That that is beautiful. Very good. Godzillas have no fear. <laughs> They'll do it to Behemoth. <laughs> I wasn't here to see this part. That's great. Uh, technically, you were here, but I wasn't. I was not in this area. I was. You're back not in base. this area. You're 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 in the group. But <laughs> this this camera footage is is capturing the the glorious Gachalakas. Like we owe it's like your little cat. We owe you piece of cake, don't mention it. <laughs> Gachalaka are great. The Gachalaka uh, are great those though. Guys. That's one of the. Uh, one of the adorable little side quests in the game. There, uh, yeah. there's not that many. The, not that many side quests. There's the optional menu. Uh, the optional menus. The optional missions, which lead to mm-hmm. you know, you know, specific side quests and whatnot. But this is sort of an actual kind of like optional quest line, right? Uh, the others of which are not really, not even really that fleshed out. It would just be like you catch a bunch of fish for the fisherman. You, know, you, like, you eventually and he's like, get hey! like the father of all fish. And then yeah, you catch another you, you one. Get, yeah, and then you, you catch get, another one. Yeah. Sure, you 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 level up like the rarity of fish you catch, and then eventually it's like, hey, you did a good job. And I don't know, you get like a a golden egg and a a, a Weaverian print or something. Something yeah, like whatever. that. Yeah, it's fine. Something you can mod in later. Who cares? <laughs> I maybe. Now, if you could get, if you just gave, if the fisherman just gave you his hat. Then we'd have a video dedicated to that. But he doesn't, so we don't. Right. If you want the fisherman's hat, though, play on PC. You might find what you need. Maybe. Can't be sure. You could also just be Pyrrha from Xenoblade Chronicles, I guess. That could also happen. Or Mithra. I guess those are characters in it. I see them everywhere. Yes, Pyrrha and Mithra, uh, maybe Numa, also Nia. These are, you know, only the female characters from Xenoblade Chronicles, naturally. I've, I've only seen those two, so I must assume that the other two have not been given the same status of waifu. Uh, I've seen, uh, let's see, I've seen Nia and Pyrrha, I guess. Mithra, Pyrrha and Mithra are pretty similar. Whatever. I like Xenoblade Chronicles too. It's on the Switch, right? Yeah. So I will never play it. So <laughs> unless I get okay. a switch, but that's good. that is unlikely at this point. Just because I don't have a commute, like at all. That's fair. Well, that's I fair. have a commute, but it's not on public transit, so I couldn't play a game. But uh, if you uh, to get to stay on topic, to focus, to zero in. Uh, if you like the stuff that we make, uh, feel free to go and support us on Patreon. If uh, And that's where you can give monthly or you can do the one-time tips with PayPal or you know do the like, comment, subscribe thing. All that stuff helps. Uh, and we love making this stuff for you and all of that makes it easier to do. Uh, next time, I, I thought I'd, I'd have my notes uh, loaded up before. <laughs> Should <laughs> hold, I have vamped for longer? Nope. Uh, use episode notes. There's the one. 35. The room of Gajalaka. Next time. Lunastra. Right. Yes. My least favorite of all the things. 
a, a new Elder Dragon and another free monster added to the game just after release. Just be like, hey, here's another thing. That part oh, is okay. awesome. That part well, is okay. really Thanks. awesome. Cool, neat. You, you, here is cool looking, not that different looking armor. Um, entire new lines of weapons that are the best in class in almost every case. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll be getting some Lunastra weapons because they good. <laughs> They're very good, as it turns out. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's a thing for monster hunter. Monster hunter. Wow.